Check, check, check. Is anyone out there? Anyone? Well, I'm looking for musicians who were on the 1967 Centennial Barge. Anybody? Lila? Lila, is that you? Hey, who's this? It's your bro, Jay. How you doing? No way! Hi! I'm good. How are you? Uh, we're doing pretty good here. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty warm having a, having a fire and some tea anyway. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've just got a fire going inside the bush tent here and I'm just sitting around thinking about music and, I don't know, the passage of time and it's been a pretty reflective time. Do you remember when you started playing music, Jay? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> um, uh, the reason I ask is because, like, we started singing and playing when we were babies. I remember the first time I performed, but all I remember about, like, because we've had such different paths to music, and you, like, started, I just remember you, like, sitting in your room, like, a, a disaffected youth, like just playing, <laughs> playing guitar and learning like all this heavy metal stuff on guitar, and that was like your first love, I thought. Yeah, it was. A, I guess it was a. It was an instrument I could play in my room by myself, rather than having to go to the music room to play piano or. Remember our Gilday family Christmas singing group? I'd rather not. I loved it. You were. <laughs> However, I was a teenager and I did have braces and a perm. But I just remember we would go around to all these houses singing Christmas carols and I like look back on that with fondness. I did love it, but the, you know, it was the performance on demand aspect that, that uh, drove me nuts. We were trotted out like three little, like three little minstrels. Terrible. I particularly remember the shortbread. I remember the I remember the uh, pigs in the blanket. That was my. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh! I love pigs in the blanket to this day. Have you been doing any music lately? It's been since the summer. I recorded that song out on uh, Great Slave. I didn't know you uh, wrote new music other than the song you wrote about me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about like the inspiration for that tune. And I feel like you've drawn a lot of inspiration from the North and from Den and Day, like from where we're from. But tell me a little bit about that. Just because I, I moved down to Edmonton uh, so long ago and, and I've been feeling a bit, uh, a bit cut off from the North. And, uh, and also because when I was up in the North, I, I, you know, honestly, because I'm part Dene and part Ontario Irish, I. I feel, you know, sometimes I feel disconnected in both worlds, so I need to sort of talk about that and, and uh, I'm, I'm just slowly <laughs> becoming an adult and, and uh, starting to understand what that means. Taste the smoke behind the car I see the tire tracks on the road You peeled out so fast You didn't feel the rain I was leaving for the south And the last to leave my mouth 
that didn't seem to speak the truth of my heart. And all I give is all I have. All I have is all I give. All I give is all I have. You. West on southbound plains reminds me that there's always time to go back home and speak the truth of my heart. But who's still there that really cares? Except my family who's unaware. They take me as I am, no matter what. Side of me that I forgot. Come back walking like you know that no one really had to go somewhere else to find the way back home. And all I give is all I. I feel you. <laughs> I just uh, I had the chance to go up to Delaney and to record a song on the Bear River, which is like where our grandfather, Joe Kenny, used to spend almost all of his time, um, like fishing and hunting. And um, yeah, it was really amazing. It was actually our cousin Bruce that took us out. And um, I recorded that song, my, uh, the song from my last record, Space that features uh, Adeline Vital singing that uh, Etsula, the traditional Dena love song at the beginning of it. It talks about um, how, the, how when we pass on our, uh, our spirits, you know, are, are reunited with the people that we love and, and with the creator. And it's really crazy because I was talking to uh, Lawrence Nayeli actually today and he, he was telling me that he once asked his grandmother why there's no word for goodbye in Deneke, like in Dene language. And she explained to him that um, the reason that there is no goodbye is because in Dene worldview, it's like you will never be parted. We, even if we pass away, we will be reunited with those we love. And so I thought, wow, that's really cool. And, and the fact that I um, shot, like we shot that song on the Bear River where our grandfather, you know, like really raised like all the kids and and pursued like a traditional lifestyle that's i don't know it was really powerful for me so
So there is a space A place for everyone So there is a time When leaves have to fall And what you lost was love And a hole in the room Where you have gone, I know we will be there soon Where you have gone I know that We will be there soon Some people just are wild And they Yeah, okay, uh, I love you, Lee. It's nice to, nice to hear from you. It's so great to hear from you too, Jay. I'm glad you checked in when I put the call out, so um, love you and I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, take care. Love you, over and out. Over and out. Hey, Dylan, it's Leela, you there? Hey, Leela. I'm just curious how you started making music. Um, I started making music back home. It was kind of a, there's not too many outlets for yourself or your art. And then I myself, I guess I thought of, you know, there's different darknesses, there's different influences around you. And I, for me, music became the way that I could express those things. It's not for everybody, but for me, it seemed to connect. I'm not quite sure why, but it did.
So why rap music? Well, there's a lot of fans of music and a lot of listeners, but you'll find there's very few people that actually live with the realities that are spoken about in rap music. But in the north, in places like where I'm from, most of us do deal with what they're talking about in the songs. And to you, a lot of the things they're saying might seem crazy, but for a lot of us, they're actually talking about talking about our life. So it was easy to relate. So I found I found that in a lot of places. Maybe not things like you see. We all started listening to DMX and Bone Thugs and stuff when we first started, and just the different classics. But I, I personally fixated on Wu Tang and Method Man specifically. I just like the way he said words. I liked his way he worked with syllables. But the music spoke to not just me; it spoke to most of us. How does your hometown influence your music? Fort Good Hope was the whole basis for pretty much everything. You know, that's kind of where you're born and raised. That's where you made your first memories. The the bad ones, the good ones, it's where you had your first punch, it's where you kissed your first girl, it's where you went out alone for the first time and went home past curfew for the first time. Of course it influences everything. It's for most, a lot of us, I guess, and for some people, it's, it's what you know, or it's all you know. Where I'm from, home is the horizon. Streets are paved with stone, riddled with violence. Where I'm from, life is what you make it. And you can have what you want, long as you take it. Social status isn't something that's measured in diamond. You will the surviving, overcome with the smileys. See, it's hard to talk about it sometimes, I can be honest. His eyes can barely close anymore, staring in silence. And I can't help but question life and how cheap it all is when I've seen so many friends trade theirs for literally nothing. I've been flirting with the devil so long, her rhymes are open. The bottles pop, the kettle's on, and the spoon is cooking. See, now my body tells a story in tattoos and scars of how far I'm willing to go to reach up and touch these stars. In the face of addiction, we are our brothers and sisters. Only some are for the better and others no longer with us. But together we can weather the storm, albeit endless. We can watch it pass together through the window of my house of uni. And I know you've been down a long time, probably used to it. And I know suicide can't be easy because I tried to do it. But I've been blessed with some people in my life that could help me through it. And now I'm better, it's time to move on to something bigger. Believe me when I say that the dark days don't last forever. The shadows fade, the storms clear, and the days get better. See, everybody's got a limit, it doesn't matter how hard you push them. And trying to be someone who don't need nobody just isn't working. Man, they've been knocking at this door forever, expecting it to open. But there ain't nobody left inside, and ain't nobody coming. See, I used what I had to work with, and never said it was perfect. No, every time I talk to God, I ask Him to spare no mercy. Nowhere in this world for me. No, no. 
No, 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 no. You could say it's hard to be relevant when you don't fit a tax bracket. Staring out the window of a weather being has a uni. Watching the river, the way it moved, it was almost music. To elevate myself before I did something stupid, yeah. But, but that's exactly what I did. Became my evolution to a man from a kid. Turn my hardship into inspiration to do it. I knew I could do better. All I had to do was prove it. Became the voice of my people. Now I'm speaking it fluent. And I ain't sugar calling shit. I know exactly what the truth is. The truth is, you forgot us and left us out like a stray dog. Expected us not to bite back every chance that we got. I hear the rock of my people. Every time that I write a song, I wear the mark of the beast. Cause that's exactly what you wanted on me. Had enough of poverty. Had enough of apologies. Had enough of feeling like there's nowhere in this world for me. Like there's nowhere in this world for me. There's nowhere in this world for me. No. No. There's nowhere in this world for me. I just want to throw this message out to everybody that's uh, that's listening tonight. Uh, you guys keep doing what you're doing and keep representing the saw too and showing the rest of the world that we might be small, but we've got big voices. Good night, everyone. I'm uh, I'm heading out.